Good morning, a glorious Monday. So, oh my God, that's an unfinished macrame. <laughs> So I ended up getting um, a gym membership uh, from a new gym. That's what I've done to this morning before 8 a.m. <laughs> going to have breakfast now and then head there for 10 a.m. where I'm going to meet Kirsten because it is the first day of my new plan. First day with the new plan and how it works now is that uh, I have this app called Trainerize. I will put the little thing that looks like here. Maybe I should do this other time because look at. I don't know if I can put this this on YouTube. So I've done 15 reps on 70 kilos, then 12 reps on 70 kilos and tried to do 8, no 10 reps on 80 kilos but failed because my lower back hurts. So, can't do it. Sets. Just woke up. Um, yesterday's workout was great. It was really hard. And this morning I just could not wake up. I was supposed to go to the gym before I go to get my second vaccine, but I just I couldn't get up. Um, I kept falling back asleep. So I let myself sleep because I think I've not been sleeping so well, and I needed I needed to rest. But but maybe. Uh, the fact that I feel so kind of blurry in the head and my eyes feel really tired because I've, I've I've not been drinking coffee. I don't drink coffee always. I'm not addicted to coffee. It's just, I don't even have it every morning, but I do have it most mornings just because I like to have morning coffee. But now I haven't had that for ages. I've just had tea. Maybe... Maybe I was addicted, maybe I have in withdraw withdraw withdrawals now. Hard word. So maybe. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, I look amazing. For you, all the people in the UK and other countries that don't have this, this is how we thin shower. There are no stalls where you can go alone. <laughs> and this is pretty much the only thing that separates us from the people in the locker rooms. Um, locker room, I don't know. And you can always see in because it, yeah, it doesn't cover the whole door. So, um, it's Monday <laughs> next week. Uh, I only went to the gym once last week. <clears throat> Uh, because of a personal issue. Long story short, I'm single now, uh, so I did not have any motivation. And I've been crying all weekend, um, you might see from my um, swollen eyes. But I'm going to the gym now, um, which I'm happy about. So I can start the week, um, I can start the week nice. I feel better, so my back is extremely sore <laughs> so we'll see how this goes but um, at least i'm going a few moments later so i'm back from my second time doing ashtanga how do you pronounce it? ashtanga 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 uh, yoga um that i started this week um because i because of my back issues that's really good even though i haven't been going to the gym uh in two weeks because of well this breakup i haven't been feeling like going to the gym but i did yoga this week two times so i think i'm doing great i think i can be proud of myself for doing that and yeah hello i just got home uh oh the light might be better if i put you here oh yes it is I got home, I mean, to my new home, which is my grandmother's home. <laughs> I am living here until she comes back from Spain. So, as I think I've said, but I've been going through a breakup three weeks ago, I think. Yeah, three weeks ago. And now I live here. Um, And I've just had a consultation with him. And I hired him as my personal trainer, <laughs> which some people might think it's stupid since he is my ex now. But I think we work good as friends. We are friendly, so and he's a good PT, so why not? So yeah, now my uh, now my year challenge can keep can keep on going. I I'll go to Astanga Yoga which is really athletic form of yoga. Um, so I go there two times a week and then I go to the gym three times a week and then I have a step count I need to do. I need to do those crazy baseball steps every day two times. What else? A meal plan. Because I want to I want to reduce fat. So this is great. I've, be, I've had now a three, a three week break from the gym because of the breakup. I need a time to heal. I need a time to get my emotions together. And tomorrow I start again. I think this is month three. I'm again starting again on month, at month three. I am not doing great, but I will be doing great. You will see at month eight. Hopefully. So I've gained weight the past three weeks. I haven't been really interested i mean i haven't really cared what i've been eating and it's showing a bit i mean not hugely a mouth it's just <laughs> it's just yeah i'm not happy with this and then i have love handles it's not too bad but i am really used to being a lot smaller than this and it's okay i don't care about the weight i don't care if i I look bigger, big. I just I want to look more muscular, um, and yeah, my back has gotten wider, like I've said before. Um, but I've gained weight, so you can't really see the definition of the muscles, if you know what I mean. Crispy morning. <laughs> I did the gym after three weeks of break, three weeks of 
not going. Three weeks of taking time to heal. These are my everyday, everyday stairs. They start from there. And that is not the top, even though it looks like it, but it's not the top. I am almost there. And not really, because they continue. <laughs> Oops, almost died. You remember when we were out last week? I met this girl. Yeah, what about it? Well, she blocked me on Tinder. What? Seven days since she left, I'm still amazed. The way she dressed, I mean, woof. The way she smelled, made my every cell. Scream, rum, bum, bum, bum. Huh. Who knew what's in the date could make me feel this way? Now I'm in love and I'm ready to play. Wrote her a text like, hey, baby, do you want to hang out? But then she goes, she run around, run around, run around, run around. Run around. lockers oh, I'm back from yoga and it was great even though I had a leg day today and it was quite hard uh, to do yoga today as well but during the last relaxation pose where you you know you just lie on the floor eyes closed and relax I think it's called a shavasana not sure how to pronounce it um my mind just completely left my body i went to somewhere i don't know where i went somewhere and i was out i did not remember that i was in a yoga studio i didn't remember where i was at all and when the instructor <laughs> finally finally said that you can slowly start opening your eyes i kind of snapped and i was like what like where I, I completely forgot to know where I was and it was great. I needed that today. I've been awake for a long time. I woke up half past four and I need some sleep because tomorrow morning I am going back to the gym and then I have other things to get done. So I'm really tired. She was writing to the song, you were lurking all along, even touch your ding dong, right? So tell me what's in your face, plants, or when you put your hands in her pants, or maybe when you hit the guard and beat that car, get back in like a rock star. If you act like a douche, of course you will lose, yeah. If you act like a douche, of course you will lose, yeah. If you're acting like a douche, of course you will lose, yeah. If you're acting like a douche, of course you will lose, yeah. my back is sore as hell my gym break gym break gym break gym break that sounds weird gym, my break from the gym ended this week it's sunday no it's saturday ended this week uh, and i had i have had yoga two times again really athletic form of yoga not like this Okay, we do that at the start. Oh, it really hurts my shoulders because I have shit shoulders. Ow! Go into yoga after the gym. Gosh, it hurts as fuck. I can't curse. It's the YouTube. It's hard as hell. That's still cursing. So now, the right side of my body. Well, right, okay, my right arm. I hardly feel it, and I know it's there. And there's like these knots on top of, well, these knots that kind of block the nerves that go all along my arm. So when they block them, my whole arm is in pain. It's like I can't feel it and it hurts. Weird. If you've ever experienced that, you'll get it. So I'm just trying to like, I've been doing this for ages. I did it with the tennis ball. I like light. I, 
I can't talk. You know, you put this on a wall and then you just lean on it. And then, yeah. So I did that for a while. Then I put it on the floor and then I light on it. And now I am doing this. I'm hooking my back. And it hurts, but I hope it's useful because I need to get my blood flowing. Because I don't think there's a lot of blood going in my arm. <laughs> this is my life. I need someone who loves to give massages. Like loves them, like has a fetish on giving massages. So if you have a fetish in the phone like that, please let me know. Because I think we can work something out. Ow. Like only massages. Like the normal ones. Caught I'm in pain. I'm so much in pain. I hurt everywhere and it sucks. Ow, ow, ow. I wish to have a body that is not in pain. And it's even here. It's because I did back. God, what do I look like? It's because I had a back day a couple of days ago. When? Wednesday. Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Saturday now. Ah, and it hurts. Well, back day. Back ish. Ish back day. It's, yeah, back day. Let's say back day. My PT would know better. I mean, I should know. I did the work, but still. And yes, I did hire my ex to be my PT. Well, I think it works. Easiest this way. Don't have to find a new one. <laughs> I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I shouldn't sing that song because the guy who wrote it is an idiot. Did he write it? Or did he just sing it? If you don't know who I'm talking about, well then, that's on you. Uh, I don't know if you can hear those, but I can hear hear it going like over muscle notes. So it's like, not really that, but almost like that. I hope you can hear me because I did not check the microphone. I don't have a microphone, but the microphone on my phone with, um, there's a lot of this around. I live in my grandma's apartment. That is the reason for this. <laughs> I am not religious, I have to say. I have my own beliefs, but I'm not religious. If you want to know my beliefs, you can ask me. But I do not prescribe, subscribe, subscribe. I do not subscribe to any religion because I do not believe in any of them. Like a form religion, like a group believing in the same thing and then they believing that the thing they believing is better than the other belief or the right belief that I don't believe in. I said believe a lot and it probably did not make sense. It literally hurts like hell. I might need a painkiller because like, oh, like this side is all over. Like it's really painful and whatever I do, it just doesn't stop being painful and doesn't start feeling the stuff my arm needs to feel i need to feel <laughs> i need to feel something i want to dance with somebody oh there's a bird outside my window hello bird some of the birds will be gone not all of them some of them most of them the ones who can't handle the cold oh that's cute hello it hurts, it hurts, and I don't want to do it anymore. Ooh. I don't know why I did that, that was weird. Let's do some cat cow. It is cat cow. It's like... Some rotating cat cow. Good. Oh my god, the horrible lighting. Good morning. Oh my god, the horrible lighting again. Why is this place such a bad light? <gasps> um. Anyway, <laughs> I have to look for a lighting. Not perfection. Good morning. 
Good morning, beautiful people. I am heading to the gym. It is Thursday. I woke up at 3 a.m. I don't know why. Why am I singing? And it's cold. So I have to wear these on top of these on the way there. My arm, well, my whole right arm and this space, my lat and my shoulder were extremely sore at the end of last week after my two gym sessions and two yoga sessions. I, I was done. I was dead. And I have, well, today's my first gym session. Gym, how to say? Gym session this week, the first one. And I have yoga today in the evening as well. So we will see how that goes. My body is not great. Today's workout was all right, but my back was in pain for a lot of it. Ah, oh, my body has given up on me, which is annoying. Shouldn't do that to me, but it does. I'm not feeling great. I have yoga tonight, and I am, oh, and I feel like shit. My body should really be improved. It, oh, oh. And by that I mean more mobility, maybe even some flexibility. It should all be a bit improved. By shit, I'm in pain. So how many weeks does it take? How many months does it take to feel good? To So we have here 110 kilos. Good depth. You see, let's go. She gets it that low, which means hamstrings take over, which is quite difficult to get, but it means she's getting the full range. If she didn't do that, then it would just be the quads and it would actually cause a lot of problems. And you see, she's not locking out her knees either, which means you're keeping the tension in the muscle and not putting it all in through the bone. It's quite dangerous actually to lock your knees out on a leg press. Good, come on. Boom, other thing, putting the pressure through the heel. So as this comes down, you're gonna see that she's not lifting her heel and pushing through her toes. Sorry, pushing through her toes and lifting the heel. Yes, yeah, so I did see that, right? Good, well done. You're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there. Almost there, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Done. Other side. Yes, please. Set of this. Oh my god. I need a <sighs> Good morning. It's the start of third week in month three. So Piri is doing a tri set of three different lunge variations. So to start off, doing kettlebell walking lunges, holding the kettlebells on each side. This to build up strength and growth for the glutes. 
Because if she comes down, she has to drive up through her heel, really working the glutes hard to do it. And notice that she's not pushing through her toe, she's pushing through her heel. And her heel isn't lifting, that means she's using her glutes. She's also going all the way down so that her back knee is just about touching the floor. That's it done properly. If she's just going halfway down or pushing backwards, I'm just going to work the quads a little bit. Cool. As soon as she's done with this, she's going to put the kettlebells down, bend her knees, and pick up the plate. Oh, a bit much back there, Pity. And there we go, like that. Perfect. Now she's going to hold it above her head. She's going to do overhead lunges with the plate. She heads back down. This one works in a very different way. Her core really has to engage so that she keeps balanced because her center of gravity is quite different. Instead of pulling down uh, up from each side, she's now holding that above her and having to keep herself balanced as she goes up and down. But notice, she's still keeping the good form. Look at her legs as they come past through the heel, knees bending all the way, and she stays upright and doesn't bend forward on her back. That's how we want it to go. Now, she gets all the way down to the bottom here. She's gonna put the plate down, and she's gonna pick up the stick. She's gonna do two, two sets of overhead lunges just with these. So you said there that she's she's panting, so she's into a metabolic place and I'm burning a lot of energy. So for the first part, she was using carbs as a fuel source. It's the point we're getting to now, she's been going for so long, fat is gonna get metabolized, which is a really good fuel source. So by the end of this, <clears throat> Billy will have done about four to five solid minutes of reps which is exhausting. And that's just one set. This is a second and we've done three. So altogether, that's probably about 15 minutes of solid repetitions, which is a lot, a lot. Now what happens there is, <clears throat> can put you into what's called a negative nitrogen output. So she's gonna start using proteins as a fuel source, which is why we get pity to load up with leucine, which is a branched chain amino acid. You can get that in quite a few different foods or you can supplement with it. About 90 minutes before her workout, I get pity to eat stuff like uh, Greek yogurt with oats and some berries. So it's a lot of antioxidants, a good amount of leucine, so that when she does metabolize nitrogen, protein for energy, it means that she's already got it topped, this right stuff topped up in her system so that she doesn't lose any muscle mass in what she's been doing. Hello. Can't breathe. It hurts. Everywhere. Cool. We've only got one more set to go. Uh. I'm a little bit naughty. <laughs> I'm so red. This is how hard today's workout was. Oh my god. My legs are still sore from last, um, not last night, from the day after, no, the day before yesterday's workout. Um, so I think we are going to train back. I'm not sure though, how's it see? Got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell them so this is 10 I'm kilos, so it's quite a heavy I'm too fly. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're a little bit selfish. You get mad every time you lose. You can't take me with you. I'm smashed for a third of my three. I got wings, my osteopath, but the woman apparently I have shitty shoulders, so my mind there's someone waiting on me. You're just 
so we finally made it here end of month three i know this video was a lengthy one but oh month three what a journey uh it was great honestly month three has been the best month so far i managed to go to the gym two times a week and yoga one time a week i think that was enough for the month three because there's obviously been a lot of things happening and that is all i could hang handle i was able to keep it consistent and feeling good and i really wanted to do it there wasn't a point where i wanted not to go and where i wanted to give up and be like ah, not this week i want to have a you know a break um i don't want any breaks at the moment i'm really to school in full steam just want to do more month Month four, I will be uh, trying my very best to go um, three times a week. I'm also going to do yoga every single day at home and once a week at the yoga class. I wouldn't have thought that I would be in such a great place in month three because month two was obviously a bit of a mess. There was the breakup and the move and everything and I was just a complete mess. Um, still am a bit but <laughs> at least i'm doing great i'm taking care of my mental and my physical health so it's all going really good for me at the moment and i really hope that it's going to go even better so thank you so much for being on this journey with me it's probably going to be a long one <laughs> I feel